So Olympus, it's big. They, they made a big one. So the pictures have leaked. We've got a look at the behemoth. And I just want to talk about, is this a viable way for Micro Four Thirds to go? They're making a giant. Is this the direction they should be taken? Or will they fall to the wayside like Nikon will in 2021? You have the stabilist image, but your 1080p is softer than a Tempur-Pedic pillow adjusted for a spinal disorder. So the Olympus OMD EM1 XF5 59 1.3 over thirds fourths is being released soon. And we got to look at it. And as I'm gazing upon it, the first pictures I saw, I was like, holy shit. Like, look at the size of that thing. It looks like it's bigger than the 1DX. That thing has more curves than Dolly Parton. I should come up with a more modern example. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kind of excited about it for some reason. I don't know why. I want to stay in the Micro Four Thirds system, kind of. A little bit, because they're so small and light. So that would be so stupid. But just looking at it, they did give us the flippy screen. You can see it on the back there. They got dials out the yin-yang, buttons everywhere. If it's not too heavy, I'm thinking that thing's going to be 900 grams at least. If they could bring it down to like 700, can you do it Olympus magicians? Just do it. I believe in you. Let us have it. Because it sounds like it's going to be an awesome video machine. It all depends on their autofocus though. Did they fix it? Is it phase detect? Is it fantastic? They. It sounds like they have all this art auto adapting just it recognizes you and it grows and shrinks like a mushroom it's gonna be amazing so what's not to like other than the tiny sensor but you can get around it you can get around it you don't have to blur out the background all the time relax the funny thing is like when you look at those pictures it looks like a giant and then i saw another picture where this guy's just like doing this he's like it's just that big, guys. Relax. It's like being scared of a fly or something. Like, oh my god, it's gonna kill me. So many people are afraid of mice. I'm one of them. I would jump off a balcony to avoid a mouse. That's all I know. I don't know why it's so scary. It's like, oh god. Oh, please. And you just... It touched me. <laughs> it's like a little cat. Shut up. But Olympus, they're touting 7.5... EVs of el elimination. I messed everything about that sentence up. Stabilization. You knew what I meant. In my opinion, Olympus is still the master of stabilization. Panasonic kind of jumped in there with the G9 at the last second. It's like you're sprinting to the finish line, you put your hands up, and then somebody sneaks by you. It's like, ah, you weren't trying at the last second, I knocked you out. That's kind of what Panasonic did, but I don't know, there's warpy shit going on in Panasonic land that is much more controlled in Olympus. So this one, if they're taking it to the next level, I'm scared. I'm actually scared about how smooth the footage is going to be because it's going to feel like you're on a train, a magnet train to Happy Town. But in my opinion, I think Olympus is pulling a smart move here. It's weird because it's so big with the Micro Four Thirds, but Think of it, what's good about Micro Four Thirds? It's cropped. You'd think that's a disadvantage, but there's always an advantage in life. Every time, no matter what it is, you think, oh, that's bad. I'm disadvantaged. Oh, I'm short. Oh no, I can't reach that top shelf. But you can sneak under bridges and find crumbs that people left, like peanuts. That's free food. So they have an advantage long distance wise. So this could be the wildlife killer where you're just shooting hippos, flamingos, desert, eagle, rats, whatever you want. And obviously sport shooting at a distance. It's like that's where Micro Four Thirds has the advantage. You can shoot faster and crop longer and you're lighter. That's the good move. Whereas like it doesn't have much other advantages to full frame when you're short distance and slowly I don't know what I'm doing so I know I talked shit about it before 
which I love to do. I love talking shit about cameras I've never tested myself. It's a hobby of mine, so just let me do it. But I think it's going to be a success. If they really throw everything they have at it, which sounds like they're doing that, why not? It's just how big is it going to be and how heavy is it going to be? Can they keep it down to 700 grams? Because shit gets heavy and that gets real fast. So do you think it's a good idea for them to be making this giant Micro Four Thirds camera just completely opposite? Sometimes those are the best ideas, just completely opposite of common sense. So I'm on board with the experiment and we'll see where it takes us. So let me know your thoughts down below. Did they make the right decision doing this or are they gonna die? Post it and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one. And if you're still watching, what did I film on today? It's different. Post it down below. Did you notice it? I'll leave.